What's up, you guys? And this is Big J, aka Joseph, aka Big Joseph. And today I'm going to review the bastard son and the devil himself. So we're going to get into the trailer. I'm going to explain some stuff that happens. This is a spoiler warning. Yeah, spoiler warning. I'm going to also put it in the caption spoilers, you know. But I'm just going to break down what happens. So let's. Because I watched it all in one day because it was very good. I loved it. So, yeah. Hold up. Let me... There we go. So, before this scene happened, before, uh, before this scene right here happens, basically, her father, this is Annalise. Anna, this is Annalise right here. Her father a lot. Let me. S her father a lot. Him up. And this guy knows that he's escaping, so he's chasing him. So. Annalise just killed him. Just killed the body um, guard. She didn't mean to. Basically, Annalise's power is desiccation. Basically, she basically she makes your body undo. She can undo items. She can undo basically anything. So let's continue with the trailer. There've always been witches in the world. I also forgot to mention he's the son of the devil. Well, that's what everyone thinks. But we're gonna get into that later, cause the storyline and the plot. What led up to us finding out what we found out, it was a lot. Blood witches and fairborn witches. My name is Nathan Byrne. The bastard son of the devil himself. My father is Marcus Edge. He'll wipe out our kind until there's nothing left. Why are you not supposed to talk to me? You know why. Evil dad. Evil dad. Okay, right here. This is where the council, basically, this is before he escaped the council. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is before he escaped the council. So, in this right here, he's training with, he's training with this girl so he can fight his father. And he trains every day. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. Your sister really hates you, doesn't she? Your sister you hates- Okay, let me go back. That's the sister in- Yeah. She really hates him. To the point where she's gonna have the villain later on. And I'll explain that later, too. Your sister really hates you, doesn't she? That's the person that was training him. Basically, you know, she was training him to, you know, fight. So, yeah. Wouldn't you rather die than be a blood witch? I'm not a blood witch. Then what are you? I don't know. Oh my god, hold on. I know where they Him? Him, bro? This man was so fucking annoying. He's also gonna be the villain. Isn't that great? Yeah. Before the end of the year, you'll get your power. And it will change you. Let's just go into this. Him? Bro. Bro. Hmm. They have a love triangle. It's kind of funny. But him, I like his character. You know, I like his character a lot. He's very, um, how should I say? Mm -mm. Uh, whimsical, I guess? But yeah. It's with a positive mental attitude, shall we? Where are you running from? Seven Council. And the Fairborns are after you because his own blood will kill the wolf. Bat. All right. So let me break this down. This is just gonna uh, expose the whole plot of the show, but I'm still gonna do it. Sorry about my chair. It's like regular, you know. Yo. So basically, they thought that note was for him, which is Nathan. That what they thought was the devil's son. No, 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 no. Basically, you know the guy, the guy that 
Annalise's dad. I don't I don't keep forgetting his name, but he's irrelevant to me really. Annalise's dad, basically him, he becomes evil and, and he becomes a blood witch. He tries to steal Nathan's powers. He he, he succeeds, but it doesn't steal his it doesn't it doesn't steal Nathan's powers. It just makes him a blood witch also. So when when he got when he became a blood witch, he just started acting weird. But later on, he killed his whole team, ate their hearts, and gained a lot of powers. And by that statement, they said his own blood would kill him. Annalise is gonna, you know, she's gonna and she's gonna she's gonna do him dirty, and she ate. I'm supposed to kill my father. Excuse me, you're a fucking what? Fight one of the most powerful witches that's ever lived. That's just and let's just get back to this. Annalise, I think she's the most powerful one in the show. I mean, she killed her dad with ease. She, I, I really do think she's the most powerful one in the show. I mean... Unless Nathan kills her and eats her heart, then he won't be able to get her powers. But if he steals her powers, then he'll be the most powerful. But right now, she's pretty much the most powerful one in the show. Just say heads up. It's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Training was going quite well, actually. No. Oh. Oh. Dad, of We're going to save your life, and that's final. Nathan's dad. Love is not worth saving. Nathan's dad, I think it will make you stronger. It is to me. All right. All right let's go. Ahead. Let's go. Ahead. It is to me. Okay, so Nathan is in the middle. Nathan is in love with her and also him. He is in, he's only the white boy, the one with the, you know, the only white boy there is in love with Nathan only and not Annalise. So, that little love triangle is good. They don't have any beef. They're all fine. They all mess with Nathan. It's like a poly. I think that's what you call it. A three, no, it's a three way. A three way. They're a three way. But not a three at the same time. It's weird, okay? okay? I'm sorry, it's just weird, okay? You are not your father. <laughs> but they're born. Never met a blood witch before. What if they're bad? We're fucking bad. Where it all begin? All right, so basically, um, what Annalise did in the final, she basically just, well, Nathan was fighting him at first, but then it, you know, Nathan was losing because he didn't have powers. His power is to eat people's heart and gain powers. He hasn't killed anybody to take their heart. So on that note, he doesn't have any powers. He can only just hear heartbeats. But yeah, so Annalise walked, uh, walks beside her dad, and she starts undoing him. Basically, decimation. She makes his body spread apart, and it's and once she's done, his bones and blood just flat to the ground with a little bit of flesh left. It's very gruesome. This show has a lot of gore. So if you're if you're not a fan of gore, do not watch this show. But I think the plot is good, and I think it deserves a second season. I, in my opinion, let me like it. Yes, I forgot to like it. But yeah, I never like stuff. I don't know why. But I, in my opinion, think this show really did good. Now, I only have a few minutes left of recording because I'm using Bandicam Cam and I'm not paying for the, I'm not paying for the thing right now because I'm not up, I'm not an up and coming YouTuber yet. I'm still a trash baby. I'm still a trash baby YouTuber. So I just got to get my bands up, you know. But yeah, that was a breakdown of what's going to happen. From this Jesse trailer. There's some more plot in the story, but you got to watch the show. It's on Netflix. Watch the show and get a better uh, explanation. But I, I just explained the trailer. I explained what happened, what's going to happen in the show. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And that was Big Joe. I'm out.